Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and those with the good sense to do away with the whole affair. How is everyone doing tonight? Uh, I'm... I would like... I appreciate the sentiment, Quentin. I would like to earn it. Um, but one more... Uh, one more follow. I think we can manage it. Hopefully tonight. Oh, wonderful. What, uh, what solution did you figure out, Coco, for listening to streams, I take it? But... Yes, I am very much looking forward to getting emotes once I... I need to double check how many slots Affiliate comes with at first, and then... There will be probably a poll in the Apothecary Discord uh, about which ones people are most interested in having access to. <laughs> if they would like to support me, that is always very appreciated, but we are not going to gang press anyone into the Apothecary. We are, we are looking for more patients, not test subjects, yet. Ah, oh, that is rather clever, Coco. Don't worry. Inevitably, there will be time for test subjects later, I'm sure. But for now, we want everything to be a very welcoming environment, of course, and we're not going to be causing any issues. But did everyone survive their first week after the holidays all right? I know, mine was certainly busy. But, after weeks of indolence... Mm, uh, Professor... I do not believe so. Uh, it might... Oh. If it says so on my account... That is probably because it doesn't undo, um, yeah, so that that value is sometimes wrong, uh, because it doesn't account for either unfollows within a certain time period or bot accounts that got deleted. So, we're looking, uh, we're looking for one more still. Basically, the next time we see an alert pop up for that, it will uh, be good. But... <laughs> I appreciate that, Professor. And welcome back to the Apothecary, Professor. How have you been? Oh, what do people think of the new brickwork I laid uh, here? I thought it looked a little... Oh. Lunella, thank you so much for being the 50th follower. Uh, I appreciate that more than I can even say. Thank you. Welcome to the Apothecary, and I hope you really enjoy your time here. <laughs> well, thank you. Very much. That is something that really, truly makes my day. I was very worried when I started this whole process, I will say, from the first time I put a video out, that it would end up just being, uh, you can't see him, but Bonk is standing behind the camera right now, as he is wont to do, and I was very convinced that I was going to end up only speaking to him during this, and that this was all an elaborate ruse to get me to read more bedtime stories to him. <laughs> so, the fact that other people have wanted to come spend time. Aw, that's so nice of you. I really appreciate that, Professor. It is, it is very nice to hear, though, and especially 
I always appreciate when people enjoy listening to me. That is one of the best compliments I can get. But I really do appreciate everyone that has been here from the early days and has seen, you know, the rise from the first videos posted on TikTok to, you know, presumably getting affiliate after tonight. So thank you all. Cheers to you all. <laughs> thank you, Luna. Uh, Lunella, I really appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like I can blush at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Indeed, it does. Uh, once I get the official uh, move to it, I do have some... Oh, yes, the Medoc. It always is great at... Tickling my fancy in that way. Oh, well, I will definitely... I don't know about Bonk, he is rather camera shy. But... The... I definitely have model upgrades and some other surprises coming down the line. The... Uh, my rigor is actually currently working on the finishing touches, the model art upgrades are actually done, so I'm planning to have a celebration once those are done and the affiliate is official so I can roll out channel points and show off the new things, which I think people will thoroughly appreciate. I'm, I'm looking forward to you getting to see them. I'm very excited myself. So, we'll see how that all turns out. <laughs> no, I'm simply an, uh, an automata that Crane made so they can continue doing research while uh, also entertaining people. Naturally, Quentin, what do you think I am? <laughs> and it's no worries at all. I understood what you said. That's all that matters. But... No. Hey, Tempest, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Uh, theoretically, we hit the threshold for uh, affiliate tonight, so that is a cause worth celebrating from the get-go. And it's also been very nice to be back at the swing of things after the time think that is the holidays where you kind of never know exactly what day it is it doesn't help that uh this is one of the only rooms in crane manor that has windows or sunlight because some of my experiments are very light sensitive so you don't want to introduce more variables than you could wish to account for thank you I'm very, very excited about it. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun to get to add more things to the channel. I'm, I'm sure man balls will probably come around in, uh, like usually they're around in an hour or so. Well, I appreciate that. I, I will, of course, once we get to that point, reiterate, I never expect any kind of support. I just, you being here is enough. And mainly the thing I want affiliates for is the ability to have channel points and more fun things of that sort for everyone. But yes, we'll have to, there'll be a lot of fun things coming down the pipe and, and emotes. Those are always fun. I have so many in the Discord already, and so it'll be nice to get to port some of people's favorites here, as well as uh, I have more that are in, currently in the work of being commissioned, and those I'm particularly excited about because they are... <laughs> well, you will be... as. 
everyone knows the first people to learn anything are the people in the Discord. So you will, of course, know the moment that I have gotten the official affiliate notification. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, that is one of my favorites as well. I mean, it, if you can't tell, I am rather fond of wine. Between the Casco Montiato being my favorite Poe story too, well, you know, this. It is always one of the best drinks to have on hand. Du le monde mieux avec petit vin. All the world is a little better with wine. <laughs> yes, wine. Wine. <laughs> there I don't mind uh mass wines <laughs> like that when it's uh a rather leviscous night for uh partaking but these days I tend to find much more enjoyment in having a glass of something particularly nice rather than seeing how, uh, going through a bottle like I used to more in my youth. Though it did lend some rather exciting experiments when you don't quite understand what you're reading and you mix up the formaldehyde for the hydrochloric acid. I do eventually want to actually get, I, uh, in, in addition to just reading short stories, I would love to either do scripted ASMR, like alchem, uh, alchemy lab scripts for a stream, or at least put those as a uh, video series on YouTube with, you know, lab equipment sound effects and instruction voices and things of that sort. I think it would be a fun endeavor and it would give me a chance to do some creative writing that I have been lacking in of late. So, I suppose I will that I will let everyone know at the soonest opportunity what comes of the affiliate uh, that should be much faster than all of the times where they have to process the partner because that is much more, how to say, contingent, I feel. Why can't you post your clip link, Quentin? Uh, Coco, yeah, I... I definitely am not as comfortable or at least as experienced doing, you know, trigger-based ASMR or any of that kind of stuff, but having scripts and getting to do my own sort of scenes seems much more in the uh, realm of tabletop RPG running things, which is something I'm very comfortable with. Uh-oh. Yes, uh, Nightbot is very particular about posting any kind of, uh, links in chat. Um. Okay, I can give you permission to post links. Uh. So. Yes, uh, that, that's definitely something coming down the pipeline. I also want to expand outward to doing tabletop. Oh, well. Uh, just post in the Discord and we can check it out there. But that and I want to expand to tabletop content, uh, hosting collaborations of running one-shots down the line. So I played... A and ran a lot of D and D. Oh yes, they persist. Uh, they all they come out and play once people start talking, and they always like to get the fresh air. 
and I recently just repaved this area in front of the camera so they could have a little bit of greenery and nicer stone. But as to your question, uh, Lunella, I have played a lot of D&D. I would say I liken D&D to very much like Settlers of Catan, the board game. It is a system that has everything, but does not excel in anything. And so I prefer typically to play other systems or run other systems that specialize in whatever experience or system we're looking at. So actually one of the first video series I'm going to hopefully be putting out on tabletop content is a uh, play this, not this sort of situation of say you like X, Y, or Z about D&D, &D, you should look at this game because if you think D&D &D does this well, look at how, I don't know, Burning Wheel does their magic system. And of course, Tempest, I, I treat all of my little friends very well. They, as you can see, some even have stakes or other materials that they have uh, assimilated in the interceding time, and they even get so happy they can do a little dance. Well, now uh, I am mostly just waiting to wrap up the last two chapters of my Dorian Gray series so I can finish out that project before falling into the trap of taking on more things to do. But once I get done with that, it will be. Well, thank you very much for the follow and thank you for stopping by the Apothecary, Lunella. I really hope I'll see you again and have a wonderful night. But. Yes, once I finish the Dorian Gray last two chapters, the last, the... Next one is already recorded. I just need to do some sound editing. So I just have one more to record and then cut. And then I will be able to move into uh, my next projects, which will be very exciting. But I'm glad I you know, got to see this one through to the end. I'm sorry, what did I... What did I miss? Oh, favorite class. Uh, my favorite D&D &D class. So it depends. I am... In my youth, I was very fond of rogues. Um, I That was when I was very numbers-oriented in my gameplay, where I was typically looking for ways to maximize power levels. And then as I got past that point of making just broken or stupid builds, like... My, one of the ones that always sticks out to me is I made a goblin rogue that de uh, that used non-lethal damage because they had a feat. Uh, they had a series of class traits and feet that if you were doing non-lethal damage, you rolled twice the normal amount of sneak attack die, and then if you were in a surprise round, you deal you dealt maximum sneak attack damage. So you ended up doing enough sneak attack damage to do all of their non-lethal track and still kill them. Because there was another trait as well that let you reroll all ones and twos on your damage. So even if they survived the first round, you, the minimum damage on each die was three. Uh, nowadays, if I am playing in D&D, &D, which is much rarer than I've run it, uh, I will typically go for, if there's an interesting religion system, I will go for a cleric or a priest or some kind of healer of that sort. If there's not, then I will go for a battlefield control wizard. I am my fellow collaborators know, have known me to pick up the moniker of the Pit Wizard uh, because I always find ways to take all of the Pit spells in D&D &D and use those to great effect. Oh yes, Healer Main for life. 
I do love it. It's the same reason that the only classes I have maxed in, or the only jobs I have maxed in Final Fantasy is uh, healer jobs. But I suppose we should... I'm always the tank, so... Ah, yes, it... Well, there are some builds like Abjuration Wizards that can tank plus also cast magic, but there, uh, it is always dependent on the system and all that good stuff. I tend to play more, if I am doing a and d esque game, I tend to do more Pathfinder than actual D&D, but these days I do a lot of more narrative-based light tabletop games and... Hello, man balls. Welcome to the apothecary. How are you doing? We were celebrating a little while ago that we hit our 50th follower. Yep, as Quentin just said. And so we were having a bit longer of a chat session as we were talking about what's coming next with the channel and all of that exciting stuff. And I was just getting ready to move us over to the parlor to uh, load up Persona. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I hope you survived your first week back uh, after all of the holidays and everything. Well, I hope you can find a way to cool down. Uh, most places seem to be rather chilled today. So, just open a window and, you know, get some fresh air. I'm sure everyone will feel a bit better for it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move the camera real quick. I will be right back with the parlor. Okay. Nice and fast. I'm getting really... No, you just strap a chain to them and, uh, really, you have to want it. So, let's see, where we left off last time was we just, let's see, where did we leave off? Oh. Oh, I should also mute the music that has been playing. Okay. So, last time we left off, just after going to Kamashita's uh, palace, and there was discussions about returning there, I believe, as we were stuck dealing with Ryuji, much to my chagrin and disappointment. Uh... Dragon Age, I'm going to try tomorrow morning. Uh, it will be the first time I've had any time to work on that. And I will find out whether or not uh, the version on EA is more stable, which everything says it should be. So, oh right, we just went back into the day two of Kamashita. Getting wine is indeed a very time intent. Right? Wait. We're all the way back here? Uh. Um, oh, cool. Uh, starting off very strong. Oh, the controller died. Uh, one moment. Sorry about that. One second while I just dig out some extra batteries from somewhere in this accursed place.
Well, on the plus side, now we know that that's not going to be an issue for a while. So. Okay. So I'm just double checking this because if it didn't save our progress, that's very disappointing. But there's nothing that can be done about it. Oh well. Definitely going to do a lot of save checks this time then. At least we're not that far behind. We're still in the, uh... We are in the Mind Palace, at least. So we don't have to do all of the lead-up getting there. You all right? I'm fine. I feel like that would be rather painful to shit you. You are a large person. Hey, uh... hey those chains are used for, like, torturing and stuff, right? Do I have any elixirs for being sweaty? Yes, uh, it is a powderized aluminum that typically is with fragrant oils. <laughs> so you can pick the uh, flavor, uh, the scent infusion man balls, and that will help a great deal. And Tempest, I'm glad that you like watching. That, that is nice, uh, I find, as well, for some games where I would not want to play them, but it is fun to watch someone else. Huh. Do you hear that? Be glad that your punishment has been decided upon. Your charge is unlawful entry. Thus, you will be sentenced to death. Hey, what? No one's allowed to do as they please in my castle. Uh, for scents you can pick from, there's lavender, sandalwood, monk's hood. Let's see, what else do we have? We have mugwort and belladonna. And Professor, we have mostly just been talking about uh, future plans for the channel. And we just uh, started playing the game. We are currently in Kamoshida, who is the gym teacher's mind palace. And we have been captured. I don't know that my boots are necessarily made for stepping, but uh, I am willing to do many things for my patients, should they ask, of course. And, okay, I will make sure to create a lavender infusion for you man balls next time I am at my laboratory desk.
down for this shit. Come on, we're out of here. No. I really would just love to leave you, quite frankly, because... Yes, please, just go. Listen to him. I'm not his friend. He ain't a friend. See? Come on, hurry up and go. I'm trying. Too scared to run away? No. <laughs> Pathetic scum isn't worth my time. I'll focus on this one's execution. Take this. Lowly scum. What a very ineffective efficient way of executing someone. Please, yes. Yes, have you lost your mind? Why aren't you already doing it? The way he wears that cape, it looks like uh, how cartoon Batman wears his cape. Monarch? I didn't realize Amelie was in this game. Yes. Was your previous suspicion a mistake then? No. She was a good person. He's just a pain in the ass. It wasn't. That's enough. Just do it. What was that? You desire to be I'm going to be posting... I'm going to be editing clips for TikTok tomorrow, Quentin. Hello, Karma. Uh, things are going really well. We reached 50 followers for Affiliate tonight, and... Well, we lost some progress in Persona, but oh no, we got to play more of a really fun RPG. So, I won't complain too much on it. How have you been? How's your week been? And, Professor, if you have specific questions uh, you, about editing videos, you are welcome to reach out on TikTok or the Discord, and I will happily answer them. I've been doing video editing for a fair while now, even before I had to edit clips. No, this is the much better character that actually that actually looks badass. Rebel soul, but 
I'm sorry to hear things have not been well for you, Karma. I, I'm glad to hear, though, that you're finding this place comforting. You are always welcome to take refuge at the Apothecary, and I really hope that things feel better for you soon. Give me your power. Someone with a better coat than you. And we all know that in this game, your coat is equal to your power level. You have a bathrobe equivalent, and I have a really badass uh, noble suit and a leather matrix trench coat. I'm almost certain that little flying pumpkin guys are a downgrade from... Uh, giant knights in armor. Now, I have the power of this giant thing behind me, but I also have a knife. I'm going to use the power of a knife. What do you have? A knife! No! I really love Arsene's design. It looks fantastic. What? What was that just? You little. Lock the cell. Yes, but I want to lock you in here with him. See, these. this is the difference between Japanese and Western RPGs. Playing Dragon Age, the first skill I got was kick someone in the nuts. This guy is wearing a pink thong, and I don't get a kick him in the nuts move. Also, I just realized that idiot threw the ring of keys. Which definitely wouldn't be helpful to have a ring of keys in a prison. You think you can get away with doing this to me? I don't give a shit, I ain't down for any of this, because I'm an idiot. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, what's with... Okay, something's up with the controller. One sec, I think maybe a joystick was pressed when I resynced it, because I am running into a wall. Enjoy your lurk, Tempest. I hope it is very comfortable for you, and good luck on your research. Okay. What is going on? Yes, we're in a magical castle. Uh, why can things never go smoothly? This is why I hate technology. Okay, we're going to resync the controller. That should fix it, because... Everything has to always be very temperamental these days, from what I understand it. Wonk says that there's ghosts in the machine, something like that. I never was one much for spirits, besides the alcoholic variety, but 
with how finicky and tempestuous so much technology seems these days, I am inclined to think it more likely. Okay, we have resynced the controller. You can press space, which tab is menu, figure. Okay, well, apparently we are now stuck with uh, the mouse and keyboard until I can save and quit and reboot it. So, cool. Or end up just using mouse and keyboard. We'll see how, the, how this feels. Now, you know what would have been really helpful right now, Ryuji? Having the ring of keys to the prison... For some reason, I think that might be useful when we are currently trying to escape a prison, but no, you toss them into the river. Okay, we came from up there, we jumped across. Oh, right. The crawl hole. Well, I guess you'll just be stuck here forever, Ryuji. No. It is... It is a staircase. Over there, they're looking for us, right? I ain't playing along with this anymore. We gotta find a way out of this goddamn place. Oh yes, because you are in a position to make demands. If this goes up, do you think it will lead to an exit? I have no idea why you would think it does. Hey, let's get the hell out of this place. You gotta be joking. No. I gotta be joker. Joker. This ain't an exit. What the hell is this place? Hey, look. We really did hear people screaming. We're not the only ones who got captured. Is he, uh, okay? Probably not, given the man in the iron mask them. Uh, where's the cat? Another dead end. Damn it, how the hell are we supposed to get out of here? Hey! Hey, you! Hey! Listen! Listen! Hey, you! Blondie! Frizzy hair! Look over here! What is this thing? You're not soldiers of this castle, right? Get me out of here! This... Right there. This strange cat hybrid would make an excellent test subject, though. You could be a test subject. A uh, cat? I am not a cat. Say that again and I'll make you regret it. That sounds like you're volunteering for the surgery table then to see what you are. If you say so. Up already. There. Cat ching up. Ha. <laughs> Let me out, and I'll take you there. You don't want to get caught in 
executed, right? I don't want to get caught. You better not be lying. Are you also into experimenting on humans and living things? If you need a pile of livers, I'm your man. Really, Professor, we will have to talk. That sounds rather intriguing. I don't know why you exactly have only the livers. That is a strange piece of awful to acquire, but... I am not in the business of asking questions when given a gift, after all. Well, perhaps we can exchange some materials to help you preserve the other awful longer, so you have more than just a pile of livers, and everyone profits. Freedom tastes so great. Now where's the exit, you monster cat? Don't call me a cat. I am Morgana. You are a cat. I'm gonna lock you up, Ryuji. Shut up. It's Fort Sakura's phone said that he left the house this morning. Should I contact the police? <laughs> no, that'll it is that old saying that you don't have to run faster than a bear, you only have to run faster than your friend. Okay. I like the cat more than the Ryuji. That is something I miss. Locking mechanisms are far more simplistic these days than they used to be. It, it does. That's why I'm going to use the power of knife. I knew you were an amateur. This is how you fight. Strike at an enemy's weakness to knock them down. That's the most basic of basics. Remember it well. Skills have varying affinities, and each enemy is weak to certain affinities. If you attack an enemy's weakness, you will deal more damage and knock them down. You will be able to take another action after knocking an enemy down. This is called a one more. If you then topple another enemy, you will gain another one more. This will continue as long as you continue to attack enemy weaknesses. New skill.
Not bad. Your persona's pretty powerful. Persona? You mean, like, the thing that comes out of your guys all dramatic-like? Yes, you saw how Frizzy Hair here ripped off his mask when he summoned it, right? Well, everyone wears a mask deep within their heart by removing that. Oh, huh, he turned back to normal. Hmm, looks like you don't have full control over your power yet. The transformation shouldn't dissolve like that after all. Right, that's enough. That crap doesn't make any sense. Can't you just sit still and listen for once, Blondie? Don't call me Blondie. My name's Ryuji. Actually, there's no time for me to lecture you. You want to escape this place in one piece? Right. Let's go. Oh, but before that, take these. Use them carefully, okay? okay. Come on, we should hurry. It's not so much farther to the exit. Just make sure you're good on HP, okay? There's still a chance we'll have to end up fighting in here. Hold on a sec. I feel like I've, like I've seen what this dude's wearing before. Ah, damn it! I'm so flustered. I can't remember anything right now. That single brain wrinkle working overtime. Hold on, damn it. No. What is it? We need to go fast. But who are these guys? Do you really think you have time to worry about other people right now? Besides this. There. You should have listened to me. Done. Looks like it's raring to go too. Let's go. Oh wait, I think I want to use curse because I think they're fairy, so curse is prop Hey, peppermint. Empathy? That's cringe. Welcome to the Apothecary, yes. Uh, I can't exactly blame them in this situation when... They... They already know what's going on, at least. So... But... You would think it would be faster to explain the situation to Ryuji rather than just... Be snar- uh, smarmy. Yes, we can. You really don't get it, do you? There's no time to explain. Exactly. Look, I'm going. If you don't want to follow, be my guest. No, I will go with you, Morgana. Fine, I'm Are you sure? I would really prefer if you stayed behind. How are you doing today, Peppermint, by the way? So welcome to the- uh, we're glad to have you here. The entrance hall is right above here. The exit's close. Keep it up. I want some of these chandeliers. They are rather lovely. We're here. Oh, finally. We're saved. Mm. Temperature. This is the most basic of basics. That's right. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you have enjoyed your time at the apothecary. I hope you continue to have a wonderful time here and uh, enjoy your new pet ooze. They will be inevitably very happy to spend time with you.
Uh, it is a big shame that you didn't knock over that bookcase on yourself. Can Don't get caught again, cat. You better be careful too. See ya. I don't have to run faster than the enemies. I only have to run faster than Ryuji. Don't worry about me. Those two seem useful, especially the frizzy haired one, if my judgment's right. Okay, is his hair frizzy? Like, I don't consider my hair to be frizzy. But we have almost the same haircut. Oh, probably. I don't know what to think anymore. What was all that anyway? That castle and, and Kamoshida and that weird cat? What the hell's going on? What's with the yelling? Are you students of Shujin? Cutting classes, are we? Huh? No, we were trying to get to school and we ended up at this weird castle. <sighs> what? Oh, hand over your bag. You better not be doing any drugs. I like how tired they sound as they're saying that. Are you his friend? No, no, absolutely not. Don't lie like that. Just tell him what happened. I'm trying to say, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Can I please request more volume on the game, Uwu? Absolutely, Professor. Is that better? We passed by Shujin on our way here. There was nothing out of the ordinary about it. If you spout any more nonsense, I'll contact your school. Is that what you want? Come on, say something. something. I don't want to be late. Uh, that's not what I meant. W wait a sec. Is that guy for real? Oh, welcome back, Tempest. A minister of transport announcing his resignation. <laughs> Things are going as planned. Sign Nijima. How did you fail at making a waffle, Quentin? <laughs> Ooh, woo, thanks, Dwata Dorian Crane. You're welcome, Professor. Always happy to uh, support my patients. Yes, exactly. As long as it's not blackened from being burnt. I'm sure we came a the same way. What's going on here? So it, exactly it's more like. Um, a pancake in that way, where you just scrape it out. Still fine. Perfectly edible. We received a call from the police. The damn cop snitched on us after all. Hmm, it's rare not to see you alone. Where were you roaming around until this time? Uh, a, ca a castle? So you have no intention of giving an honest answer. What's this about a castle? You seem so carefree, Sakamoto. Quite a difference from when you did morning practice for the track team. Shut up! It's your fault that it... How dare you speak that way to Mr. Kamoshida? Uh, there's not much leeway left for you, you know? He's the one that provoked me! Do you really want to be expelled? In any case, you'll have to explain yourself. Follow me. What? This is bullshit! 
Come now. I should have been more considerate too. Let's just say that we were both to blame. Also, just add more syrup and it should be perfectly fine, Quentin. Still, you're coming with me. It's undeniable that you're extremely late. Well, then it will just have to become a, um, a switch then, Quentin. Have we met somewhere? I saw a girl in your car. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard from the principal, but cause any trouble and you'll be expelled. Understand? I understand. At any rate, hurry up and go to the faculty office. I'm sure Ms. Kawakami's tired of waiting. Good luck trying to enjoy your new school life. The school turned into an old castle? A talking cat? Are you hallucinating from an overdose? I won't put up with you if you're simply joking around. I'm going to have you continue the story. The one who received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves was an Olympic medalist. An alumnus from Shujin Academy. The PE teacher, Suguru Kamoshida. Well, it seems you are starting to learn my sense of humor, then. It all came out in his confession. He was guilty of everything. The abuse, the violations. But there should have been no connection between the two of you since you had just transferred. Why did you target him? I will tell you later. That's unacceptable. Try and recall it once again. Do you want a coherent narrative or do you want us jumping all around? I need to go to the faculty office. Um... Okay, faculty lounge, if I recall from last week, we're almost caught up to where we were. Uh, all we have to do is go up a floor, and then the faculty lounge was like... Some people just don't appreciate a good narrative structure. I... my train was late. Oh, it's lunchtime, you know. You would have gotten here sooner if you had walked from your place. It's true the train schedules have been a mess due to the accident. But you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that sakamoto kun Well, not by my choice. Uh, I didn't have a choice. <sighs> Don't get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. I fully agree with you, ma'am, and I want nothing to do with him. Like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Yes, I did. I didn't really ever look too closely at the main character, but it is remarkable how much we look alike. After fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. She's not being mean. Uh, but look at things from her perspective. 
introduce yourself? Let's be serious about it, even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. Well, maybe, but you haven't really seen that. <laughs> he looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. See, she even covers oh, for us. Please say something to the class. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it. I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh, no, it was so Pepper, I'm afraid. Your seat will be... Hmm, over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> Did you catch that? Do those two know each other? Ooh, does that mean he hit on her before transferring her? <gasps> that means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. Then again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh, right. The volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. I have to say, already this reminds me of why I don't miss the days of my academy. The... Backstabbing and back talking and rumors are ever exhausting. Are you sure you're okay? Not in the slightest, ma'am. Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. Oh, I do not plan on a hundred percenting the game. That is madness to the utmost extent, Quentin. But I do plan to finish the game. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? Uh, it is just a stylistic thing, I believe, Tempest. Uh. You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. And, yes, there were plenty of fights. People were much more keen to fight about one's honor in those days. And arguing over results or accreditation in papers and experiments was rather pernicious. At least there's much less throwing of acid or explosives at your fellow students when they're getting into a fight, at least in this game thus far. Sorry about that. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. <sighs> See, that's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? Well, started associating with Sakamoto. To give you some context, Tempest, when we when I was in Academy, we the big new invention was the telescope. So I will let you glean from that what you will. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case. At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now, don't be like that. 
personally, I've never watched Ben 1 for a straight fight. It is amazing what you can get away with in such times with a polite smile and a very special cup of tea or some nice fresh baked goods. People are always so happy to take a nice freshly baked good after far too long doing their research. And the calendar has changed a little in this time period, but that seems from the research I've done approximately. Uh, I don't want to meet him on the rooftop. I want to go home. It has an off-limit sign posted up, but it looks like the door is unlocked. There you are. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like don't get involved with him, huh? Yes. <laughs> we're pretty much in the same boat. No, we're not. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. Yes, but you're just a punk. What was all that that happened? You know how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. But man, that Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. I will say, one of my big pet peeves in a game is where they give you two dialogue options and they tell and it is clear that one is just an extension of the other don't give me a dialogue choice at that point just move the conversation along that's my biggest complaint with Exactly, I agree with you 100%, Professor. The That is one of my biggest issues playing Genshin, where every dialogue is interminably drawn out, and every choice is a non-choice. Though I will say the worst part of Genshin's, uh, story is listening to Paimon. If there was a character I could punt into the abyss, it would be her. No, we're not. Wrong. You completely misread things. As soon as I get other people with me, you are gone. I hate you. No, I will absolutely pretend I have never met you before. Live an honest student life. Exactly. I'll just add this. Oh, there's a single button to jump to save. That's convenient. Well, it's not even worrying about choices that don't matter. It's just... L I don't see a reason to have to break the conversation flow by reading multiple dialogue choices that are just rewords of the same thing and doesn't branch the story in any meaningful way. Well, that, so when you choose a choice that's completely different from the text, I like that a bit, um, where there's the difference between, or where they kind of summarize the point of what you're trying to say, and it's not just, you know, 
repeating back verbatim what the character says. They do that a lot in, I believe it's Dragon Age 2 that you'll see. And it's, I find it nice to have that bit more surprise to add a little spice to the conversation rather than just, this is verbatim what I'm going to say. Yes, sir. Step and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? Good. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll head over in half an hour. As someone standing around for, get upstairs and go to bed already. No, it's a guy. I just hired a part timer. No, I meant when you choose a choice that comes out completely different. You mean, like, divergent story paths? Or... But... So... Get to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? I will say... I, I'm leaving now. I told you. He's a part-timer. I really... I think the next uh, thumbnail I make for this game is going to be how none of the men here ha uh, drink their respect women juice. I need to make some potions for them. What a dreadfully unput together room. To. On your feet, inmate. Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, I need my mask so I can have a nose as big as he is. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. Well, I even brought my own mask, so what an auspicious game to be playing. That's not my concern. Don't, don't tell me a situation and then not let me say it. Do the Mass Effect thing and gray out the thing showing I don't have the stats for it. There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? No. Will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. Palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. I wonder how I'd look with an eye patch. To make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. Huh, it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. I had another strange dream. Fate and awakening. <laughs> Igor seems like he lied too much with his nose. Did you see that uh, Pinocchio is getting a Dark Souls style video game? And also, isn't there another Pinocchio live action movie coming out or something?
Seriously? What was that conductor thinking? Charging into the station at top speed like that? Didn't you hear? That guy totally lost it. It's been happening a lot lately. All these accidents are because people are suddenly losing their minds, right? Uh, what's going well, on? between the economy sucking and how depressing the news always is, it's not like it's that surprising. Yeah, I will have to post a video link uh, in the apothecary after this. I saw a very interesting looking video game. You mean that one with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, then. <laughs> oh, wow, what speed. <laughs> I mean, excuse me, that seat was for this lady. Oh. Hmm. Want me to wake him up, or you should say something. Want me to wake him up? It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Ain't it heavy, though? Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. With what? For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Thinking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me. I like her much more than Ryuji. Can I trade him? I seem to have made it safely to school. What was that castle, though? Class is starting. I'm the social studies teacher, Mr. Ushimaru. I'll be teaching you the rules of society this year. Hmm. You all look like you've been spoiled growing up. Can't wait to see who disappoints me most this year. A certain dictionary defines a period... Defines a year as a period of 365 disappointments. The book title is about as cynically satirical as the rest of it. It's The Devil's Dictionary by Ambrose Bierce. Hey, new kid. What's the answer? Tell me what the Devil's Dictionary defined as the chief factor in progress of the human race. I'm going to say... Villains... Heroes maintain the status quo. Villains push the world forward. This is it. <laughs> Correct. Malfactors, to be specific. You actually knew that, huh? Sure, villains can affect the course of history, but remember that a definition is a sardonic witticism, nothing more. Here in the real world, villains don't push humanity forward. All they do is spread chaos and strife. I'm afraid I have to disagree with you there, Mr. Ush Ushimaru. We do far more than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> wow, he got that right. Is he really a criminal? The answer was villains. Why could I not be a criminal and answer that? Seems like a punk, but maybe he's actually serious about studying. I am serious about studying. I feel like I got a little smarter from being able to answer that question. Knowledge. I am oblivious. I exist. I'm inoffensive. Bumbling. And milk toast. Wow. That is not... A great way to describe me. 
I know you've all heard reports of these agitators stirring up trouble. We don't have any room for criminals here. Not in school and not in society. Am I clear? Milk toast. Uh, it... Milk toast means, like, bland. Or... Bland is probably the best, uh, similarity. I heard this incredible first year came. Wow, that girl in the ribbon is really thin. Is she a first year? The delinquent and the honor student arriving at the same time? Uh-oh. Assault, blackmail, drugs? He's done it all. I hear he carries around a knife. Well, maybe. Hey there, Takamaki. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes, I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. If you are feeling pain in your appendix, go to the hospital immediately. If your appendix bursts, you are likely to get septus, and it'll take a miracle to recover from that without severe complications. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record after all. If something were to happen to you. Thank you. Please excuse me. Also, speaking of health, I do highly suggest everyone make sure you are checking your posture as well as if you do not have water, you go and get yourself water and make sure you're staying hydrated. You will feel better and it is very important that you do so. Doctor's orders. You were waiting to ambush me. Ambush? Come on, don't say shit like that. Anyways, I want to talk about that castle from yesterday. I don't wish to discuss it with you. I kept telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. It's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place. No matter what, and you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so... You in? Not with you. I'm out. Don't be like that. You've gotta be wondering what the deal with that place was, too. I think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. And yes, Quentin, chug the water, or... If you have a nice herbal tea, or something similar to that... Station, right? Let's go together. Nope, I was going the other direction. No, don't make me say that. Uh, Ryuji does seem like a bad guy. I should probably not just go along with this. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? I actually recently got a new tea. It is that way from here, right? a banana and vanilla rubos. It tastes like freshly baked banana bread, and it is delightful when you use a little oat juice. I, I People call it oat milk, but I, I don't see how you can milk an oat. So it, to me, that it is a juice. Oh, it is oat juice. Let's just go home. Don't be like that. It'll be over quick. All right. This way. Let me know if you notice something. Huh? We're at school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Yeah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. 
I want to go home. Come on, you gotta stick with me to the end. I have to do no such thing. What? What do you think? Check on your phone. I don't know. I did that. I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy? On oh, I don't know. You didn't notice? I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like returned to the real world or something like that um i don't know if it ha well so if you want to look at that t it is under the uh rubos or the i think it's a separate section on adagio.com that's where i get most of my t's a d a g i o Probably a camera app. Cute logo, huh? That's not how I describe it. Well, you have poor taste. What a weird app. Oh, wait, this is it. I knew it. It is a navigation app. There's even your search history. What kind of person takes someone else's phone and then goes browsing through their history? Isn't that a massive breach of modern etiquette? No. No, you are not. Let's try using it. I don't know about this. All we're doing is starting an app. Kamoshida. Shujin Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. Here we go. Then we went in a certain direction and Hey, what are you? Huh? What the hell? from yesterday I also do I've been drinking a lot of mint tea because I grow my own mint so it is wonderful uh, to make different blends of that and it is very warm and refreshing on a cold winter's night especially chocolate mint you're the one who asked about this coming back here how yeah. They're my clothes. <laughs> Tell me, Ryuji. Are you jelly? I, I ain't jealous. No, I didn't ask if you were jealous. I asked if you were jelly. What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all. Hey. Stop making a commotion. You? The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. <sighs> to think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. But it's a castle! This castle is the school, but only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida? It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense. I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. <laughs> I'm liking the cat more and more. What did you say? That they didn't expect a moron to get it. What was that? Screaming. Slave here for real oh shit 
It's for real. We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamoshida? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! It's Morgana! <laughs> I like that. I, how is that side eye not a more memetic format? That seems like it's very memeable. Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. <sighs> Let's go. I'm not doing it for you. All right, let's do this. This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? We'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. So, uh... Sorry for dragging you into all of this, but I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Really, though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. You can... And you know how you can repay that debt? Once we leave here, never speak to me again. Man, this place is as creepy as always. Mm -hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, all right? Follow me. Hmm. Uh... What the? I was seeing double or something just now. Was that Shujin? I told you before, this place is your school. Regardless, we don't have time to stand around. Who knows when a shadow might show up? Come on, this way. Guards here. Guards in a prison. Valjean, at last we see each other part. plain. Monsieur La Mer, you wear a different chain. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. You'll need to rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard. Enjoy your lurk, Quentin. I hope it is wonderfully comfy, and best of luck on your research. When you attack a nearby enemy by pressing space, a battle will begin. Watch for the red icon to appear when you are in range. If you approach the enemy from behind without being noticed, the ambush icon will appear and you will gain an edge in battle. We want to get the jump on him and make the first strike. Okay, got it. Yeah, what are you going to do, uh, Ryuji? You know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. But anyway, let's go. What's this? Show me your true form. That is brutal. That is a good sound effect. I like that. Uh, do we know their weakness? Uh. Oh, analyze. Okay. 
that explains it. Uh, I don't believe I have wind, so... I'm going to... Use the power of knife. When in doubt, use the power of knife. Noted. All right. This one's empty. Oh. I got turned around. Ain't nobody in here. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before. Where'd they go? Why it down? I imagine execution they chamber. They might have been transferred already. Oh crap! I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Hey, let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. The shadows probably won't come in here. How can you tell? This is a bot. There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because of the caravan variety based on the soundtrack. So it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> that son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault. Blaming all of your issues on one person is classic projection. To, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Not particularly. I will never question good fashion. Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it too. Why? I just have a very nice shirt and coat. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. So what? Do I picture I'm Will Turner meets Neo? Uh, I'm so fed up with all this! Then go home, you useless ruffian. What the hell are you anyways? I'm a human. An honest to god human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is well, it's because I lost my true form, I think. You think? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Oh, polymerization. Well, Interesting. Well, ended up getting caught, though. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshida, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously... If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time, too, rookie. Got it? Yes. I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. <laughs> it's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. I thought he just pulled out a gun in Japan. I was like, okay. That's a toy. But it looks totally real, so it'll at least.
least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine too. You know what they say, providing is pre something. Huh? Huh? So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. Get a Tikachev and medicine. You only brought one dose of medicine? There are probably still sentries making their rounds out there. Let's use this time to hash out our current situation. Safe rooms. In a safe room, you can consult with your teammates and save your game. You can also serve at the palace entrance. I'll just add this. Things have gone somewhat troublesome. Damn it, where'd those guys locked up go? They probably got moved to another location. But where and why? Don't ask me. Well. But there were soldiers around, right? Maybe we could try eavesdropping on them. Now then. There should still be soldiers outside. Let's take note of the situation and get out there. Hmm. I thought I heard something move over there. Guess it was just my imagination. And what are the slaves? They're all in the training hall. I assume they're screaming in pain by now. Very well. By the way, I heard we may have intruders around. Stay on your guard. Did you hear that? They said training hall, right? I think that's just a little further ahead. Let's go. Can you go inside rooms? No. Okay. Okay, so he wanders back and forth. Oh, oh, oh. To the training hall should be just beyond those bars. So, what are we gonna do? Do we gotta fight it? Seems like it. Just don't let it notice you beforehand. If it does, the palace's security level will rise. When you're spotted by an enemy, the security level will rise. This is shown on a gauge in the upper left. As the security level rises, it will become more difficult to investigate the palace, so be careful. And what happens? Run away? Well, the security level will go back down if we can beat more enemies without getting noticed. That sounds uh complicated. Fine. I'll put together some info about the security level. This is crucial to successful palace infiltration. So make sure you actually read it, okay? Security level, security level reduction, and 0% security level are now part of the tutorial menu. Tutorials you have seen before can be viewed when you press tab. Oh, uh, nope. Turn around. I'll reveal your true form. Oh my. Uh... Well, plant people, I'm going to assume uh, they are weak to knife. That is disappointing to learn. Uh, how about curse? Okay, not weak to curse. Not weak to wind. Exactly my thought, Professor. If things aren't weak to stabbing, then they're weak to poison, but unfortunately I don't have either of those. I don't know where, why exactly I manifest a combat knife. That hasn't been adequately explained. The, the Pokemon weakness triangles are so conf 
Founding. Hey. The drain hall's up ahead, right? Yeah, it's a little further along. Make sure you watch out for any guards along the way. I mean, some of them are funny, like, uh, Reigns over Brawn for Psychic versus Fighting. Uh, but... Oh, what? I can't believe this. If an enemy takes your party by surprise, you may find yourself at a disadvantage at the start of the battle. In this situation, not only will the enemy gain a preemptive attack, but you'll also be unable to escape the battle. You could escape battles. Ooh. Uh, they were weak to wind. Well, that's good, at least. One, one more, one more, one more. Got some silk yarn. Okay. Okay, so good to know that they can just appear. Yeah, the soundtrack to this game is fantastic, Coco. I really enjoy it, but uh I am all, as I've said before, I am a big fan of Electro Swing, so that's not a surprise, really. Is that supposed to be Queen of Hearts imagery? Huh. What's this? It is two guards that are not moving. I wonder if I can ambush one. What? Nope. Nope. That was a cutscene. Have you seen anyone who looks like an intruder? No. Nobody yet. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then what do we do? Should we try and take him down like before? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. I. Uh, damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. <sighs> Such a loser. Hey, the first rational thing you've said. Huh? Do you mean that gun? <laughs> yeah, it looks real and all, but it doesn't shoot anything. I see. Well, there is a way. I like that expression. <laughs> okay, we'll use that to take down the enemies. What? Are you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. Does not. Does not Sorry, shoot pellets. I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair. My hair is not frizzy. Leave it to me. I keep saying it's not gonna fire anything. You have the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire. Gun attacks. Gun attacks are considered a gun skill. Press W to ready your gun, then space to attack. You can continue shooting until you run out of ammunition. You can change targets with A and D. Uh... <laughs> well, I guess if the power of knife can't win, the power of gun... Just more good than letting it collect dust. 
Take care, Quentin. It was good to see you. Gun properties and ammo restoration. Guns have higher attack power than melee weapons, but they have limited amounts of ammo. However, your ammo will be restored after the battle, so feel free to use it all up. All right. I'll show you my weapon too. Oh, come on. Now we just need some of the... Yes. Whoa, did that toy gun just shoot real freaking bullets? I fully agree with you, Professor. If a situation cannot be solved by not application of knife, application of gun tends to solve other problems. This is a cognitive world. As long as our opponent sees it as real, it becomes such. It's a good thing it's realistic looking. I don't get it. Of course you don't. Because they recognize as a gun, your ammo capacity is limited as battle. But your enemies are expecting you to come at them with guns loaded, so your ammo is replenished in every new fight. What's this commotion over here? What? Why, you bastards? Get ready. Here comes another one. Uh, oh, so... This is actually an interesting thing. Don't dump into the enemy, please. That sounds bad. But, um, so this system actually reminds me a bit of have anyone's ever played uh, da -da -da, the World of Darkness game with wizards, Mage the Awakening. That system relies on the world having paradox, and wizards are massively powerful. But if people see things that are supposed to be impossible, they uh, create a paradox that can uh, sunder the world. So they have to disguise the magic they do as things that make sense when people, non-magical people, observe it. So, for instance, they might use a gun to shoot at a, uh, to use a fireball spell, and because people expect from Hollywood being what it is, to have the car burst into flames uh, when shot at, people register that as making sense. Whereas if you just pointed at something and it blew up, it would not it would cause potentially paradox. Amateur video editing software. Unfortunately, uh, I use um, After Effects. So I'm not sure what open source video editing software there might be out there. I must say, well done. Even if I was just dumb luck that it worked before. Did it really have to be put like that? Uh, no. My, uh, it has just been an interest of mine for some time now. I got into photo editing at a young age, and then I div uh, got into video editing and uh, video compositing, stuff like that, when I got a bit older. Quit griping, Blondie. You're still getting praised. Oh, by the way, we should decide how we divvy up the roles in battle from here on out. As you can see, there are quite a lot of enemies. It will be important to coordinate our moves well. I can keep providing intel for us, but you should decide how we fight, Frizzy Hair. What do you mean by how we fight? Basically, what we do in battle. He can order us directly or let us decide what we do. Though I guess I'm the only one, <laughs> the one fighting right now. Okay, you can change your party member's action by assigning tactics. You can either set a particular course of action, control them directly, always control directly. Okay, go to the stats menu, change tactics by pressing T. What do you want to do? Direct commands. But uh, I'm sure if you do a few searchings for, you know, uh, open source video editing, you'll find some good recommendations. And similar to how GIMP is, you know, 
basically Photoshop with slightly less intuitive interfaces, you'll find pretty much the same thing as After Effects. Again, few problems cannot be solved by the application of gun. Okay. I see you there. A guard. I have played Dark Souls. Where we need to be going to. You guys gonna take it down again? I guess that's our only choice. But wait, this might be a good time. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna teach you two a special way to fight enemies. Is this a new technique? Something like that. Let's go. Listen, there's a distinct flow to battle. Let me show you. After all, seeing is something. I, why does the I just really thought about it. Why does the cat have a scimitar yet summon Zoro a fencer? I like that freeze frame. That's good. All right. Level up. Hmm. That went really well. You're definitely fit for this. What was that super move thing you just did? I told you. It's called an all out attack. If you manage to knock all the enemies down, you might be able to use it to beat them all at once. Yeah, that was over quick. It's a concentrated attack on defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. All out attacks. However, you cannot use one if I cannot act or if only I can act. Strike hmm. the enemy's weakness, knock them all down, then do an all out attack. That's the ideal pattern. All right, this is it. Kamoshida's training hall of love? What kind of bullshit is this? Uh. Yeah. That voice, where's it coming from? Hmm. Oh, it's coming from over there. Some people pay for that. How do I open this? You Stop don't. It. Leave us alone. It's useless. Huh? If we stay obedient, we won't be executed like you guys. We're not You're telling me what? you want to stay in a place like this? Wait a minute. Were you planning on taking these guys out of here? We can't just leave him here. Oh, we can. How stupid can you be? I can leave you here too. What? These are only humans in Kamoshida's cognition. They aren't real humans that have entered from reality. They're different from you two. 
on a mission? It means there's no point in saving them. They're different from the real ones in the real world. You could say that these are extremely similar looking dolls. Be so it's not complicated. You are just an idiot. So the school's a castle and the students are slaves. It's so on point that it makes me laugh. Yes, it is very on the nose. This really is the inside of that asshole's head. Still, this is horrible. It must mean he treats them as slaves in the real world, too. In the real world, too? Oh, God. Wait, I know these guys. Yes, they're the volleyball team. They're members of the volleyball team. The one Kamoshida coaches for. They must be physically abused every day. There's no way they'd be so beat up normally. Don't tell me. They're going through similar shit in reality? Most likely. I mean, this proves that Kamoshida thinks of them as slaves. So it might be for real. I heard that Kamoshida is using physical punishment. They're just rumors, but... If they're true, wouldn't this be something to report to the police? I'll use these guys as evidence. How? If it all goes well, we can take down that asshole Kamoshida. Huh? It's not working. What part of extra dimensional realm do you not understand? Cameras and no go? A navigation app? That's what we used to come here. What about yours? My camera app won't open. Whatever you do is fine, but we're gonna get caught if we stand around like this. We need to head back. Hang on a sec. There's no other way. I'll just memorize their faces before going home. Feel free to stay around. Let's go. I feel like there are plenty of people that want to beat up What? What? What's the- Oh, they're running for tea, I see. Oh. That's, uh, something. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Over the hill and through the woods. Hey. Oh, I have to check the cells? Why do I have to check the cells? They're useless shadows. Let's get out of here. You stared at their faces, alright? I don't know why you guys are here, but just leave us alone. What are you talking about? You're seriously okay with this? I guess there's no point in trying to talk to them. As I ate him. Hey. D he just said there's no point in talking to them. Why aren't we talking to them? Oh. I don't want people to glare at me like they do you. Don't drag me into your mess. That don't matter. You seriously don't care about getting treated like shit? So, I guess there's no point in saying any of this. Is there anyone else you want me to pointlessly talk to? Isn't that how Harry Houdini died? Come on, man. The hell? This ain't training at all. It's just violence. This means he's been doing something similar in reality too, right? Damn, that bastard. Hurry it up. I know, I know. Just give me a quick sec. I want to memorize them. Sorry for making you wait. I gotta get all the ones in here, so let's check somewhere else for more. W w water. Ugh, please no more. Not giving athletes water even for tough training is a common thing in the real world, too. That sack of shit. I'm going to memorize all these guys' faces before we go back. What are your thoughts? Hey, are you done here? We're cutting it close. Don't freak me out like that, you goddamn moron. Anyway, I got all of them. 
Then let's stop wasting time. We need to scram. The cat is eminently reasonable. Yes. Hurry, we need to get out of here. Quick. Let's go. All right, we're back. We got to get out of here. Quick. Now you want to get out of here. The watch post near the training hall has ceased reporting. Chances of extruder activity, intruder activity are extremely high. All personnel increase security measures. Oh, they have red eyes. These must be elite enemies. We've stayed here for too long. Come on, let's get out of here. This way, this way to the exit. Let's hurry. I mean, it quite literally is right now. I've memorized their faces real good. You're going down. It seems it's true when they say barking dogs seldom bite. <laughs> How far the star runner of the track team has fallen. What the hell are you getting at? I speak of the track trader who acted in violence, ending his teammates' dreams. Oh, I can only imagine the pain of the others who were dragged under with your... Selfish act. <laughs> Track traitor. What a surprise. So you're accompanying him without knowing anything at all. He won't leave me alone. He's like a very annoying flea infestation. He betrayed his teammates and crushed their hopes. Yet he still carries on as carefree as ever. <laughs> That's not true. For some reason, I think it probably is. You blindly trusted this fool, and he's led you right to your death. Hurry up and dispose of them. I can't stand their stench. God damn it. That's so sudden escalation. Ow. Oh, they're weak. Um, dirty two-horned beast. That's on the nose. Okay, we don't know what their weakness is yet, so... Are they weak to... Wind? They are not. There's more of them? This is bad. <laughs> Failure. Can't be. What? so quickly how dare you raise your hand at me though it was only temporary have you forgotten my kindness in supervising track practice wasn't no practice it was physical abuse you just didn't like our team it was nothing but an eyesore the only one who needs to achieve results is me that coach who got fired was hopeless too had he not opposed me with a sound argument I would have settled it with only breaking his star's leg. What? Do you need me to deal with your other leg, too? <laughs> the school will call it self-defense anyway. Oh, he is a huge piece of shit. Am I gonna lose again? Yes. Not only can I not run anymore, the track team has gone too because of this asshole. Oh. So he is a very good... Con uh, contender for the you don't have to outrun the bear. 
Don't let him win. You're right. Everything that was important to me was taken by him. I'll never get him back. Stay there and watch. Look on as these hopeless scum die for nothing because they sided with trash like you. <laughs> no. I think you are eminently right on that front, Coco. I knew it was coming, but I I prayed that he wouldn't. He looks like a Dongan Rampa character. And now he looks like a Pokemon villain. See, his persona doesn't even have a good coat. Truly, poor fashion sense is a crime. That King in Kamoshida's cognition ain't changing, right? And I'll act like the troublemaker I am. Let's do this, Captain Kid. Uh, what do you have? Oh, they're weak to lightning. Okay. You're not- you don't even have his weakness. You're so useless. Uh, are they weak to physical? No. Um... Twinned? Again, no. Ow. Um... Oh god, his weapon's a pipe. It starts with a kick when he has a lead pipe. Yeah, you don't have to defeat all of the enemies, only the lead one, apparently. How about that? Whoa. So Ryuji had the potential too. No. Even if you apologize now, I ain't forgiving you. He looks like a punk McDonald's mascot because of the red and yellow. Oh. What a marvelous and beautiful girl. What's going on? 
No. Yeah. Now that she's but why is she even here? Hey, let go of her, you perv. Okay, so Oh. How many times must I tell you until you understand? This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Oh, I'm really going to enjoy beating him to death. That is everyone besides slow-witted thieves like you. Why Why aren't we killing him right now? Everything in the cultural zeitgeist says otherwise. Damn it. Clean them up this instant. We're outnumbered. Let's scram before we get surrounded. We're not gonna do anything and just run. This this man doesn't understand cognition, and it uh I don't think he has a single brain wrinkle. Just shut up and go. Thank God you've got a level head. Fine. We'll expose yeah, really so I lead pipe can make a good weapon, but he leads the lead pipe by kicking. And not just like kicking, like dirty fighting kicking. He does like a heel drop kick. Completely weird when the point of the lead pipe is to give yourself distance. And yeah, this this has gotten really uncomfortable. Come at me whenever you want. If you don't care about your life. Ignore him. Let's go. Anyways, I don't remember changing into this. You look like a thug. Magician looking one. Come over here and say that again. Did you find them? Quiet. No, look that way. So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. You are the reason I drank. reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within. Not that you'll get it. Nope. At least you prove them right. Then stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Wait, we're in deep shit. I said to be quiet. We might have gotten away here. We're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you. For being an idiot. Relax. The Kamoshida in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. I don't know that I caught Morgana spazzing out. There you have it. All right. Now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait. I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. Deal is a deal. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. <laughs> huh? Cooperate? Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into mementos and... Whoa, hold up. What are you going on and on? We never said anything about helping you out. Yes, we did. Huh? Don't tell me. 
Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you! You're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? Well, whether I'm part of your plan or not is irrelevant. We did talk about it. Let me think about it. What? The nerve! Is it because I'm not human? Because I'm like a cat? Is that why you're making a fool of me? No. We're busy. You're not busy with anything. You got guts being a cat and all. See you around. <laughs> you have returned to the real world. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank God. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. If you want to apologize, you could leave me alone. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? I'm fine. That's impressive. I'm exhausted even though I used to do track. But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. That's a way of putting it. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, wanna help me look for those guys or any witnesses? Absolutely not. No hesitation at all? Uh, come on, just hear me out. No. Your plan is stupid. So, if you're thinking of laying low because you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. I totally got you pegged as a criminal. So I don't have to do anything else. Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. But why? No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with. Just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. I feel you, but... You gotta do this. I'll help out too. That's the part I don't want. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. I can sense a bond. No, I don't want a bond of trust coming from Ryuji. Can I sever that bond? Can I cash it in? as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. She is also, say, she is also reasonable. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? Thanks for blinding me. What? It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. What? Oh. Okay, there's a tarot system? You've unlocked the chariot confidant. What does that do? Oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now. So why don't we grab a bite somewhere? No. I'm not feeling it. Oh, you were gonna eat out anyways, right? Come on, join me. Okay, so Ryuji, we need to talk about consent. Follow me. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. 
No, you don't. What? What the hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? Calm down, you barbarian. But just hearing your story makes me angry. So you left your hometown and you're living here now, huh? Oh god, he even talks with his mouth full. That he he is just a combination of tropes I despise. No, we are No. No, no, no. What did you do? I don't got a record like you do. I mean, that's not the point. I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before too. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. I can do that myself. Just let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. So, oh yeah. Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID too. Oh please, no, I no, 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 no. You occasionally may receive messages from those close to you. Just you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rallies tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more. There's tons of ginger here. Ginger is good. Do other people like pickled ginger? So I can about this really just eat pickled ginger from the jar. It is quite delicious in my opinion. You're being too loud. Ah, right. That is a very long knee brace. Been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry, just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized, it's all because you work harder than anyone else. Yeah. Volleyball's all I have after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since the meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. On, I... Uh, it'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep. Good luck. Is she enabling him? You stated the obvious. I take it you actually went to school today? I guess you learned your lesson after what happened yesterday. As long as you're not getting into trouble, it's fine by me. 
I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. You've said that for three days now. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. You've said that for three days as well. I wish you did not. Who's this? It's Ryuji, man. I'm gonna be counting on you tomorrow, okay? Got it. You're a bro, man. Well, see you tomorrow. Let's save those guys who've been getting abused, you and me. Are you even listening to me? Just stay away from bad influences, okay? You're the womanizer. Hey, I'm gonna head home for the night. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out. Check the corp. Check the cardboard box in the attic of LeBlanc to claim your bonus content. All bonus personas have been registered in the inmate registry in the Velvet Room. Morgana car sticker. What? These are all unused household items lying here. It's not organized at all. It's a cardboard box sent from back home. It has some extra clothes and daily necessities. Teddy, team glasses. A bunch of costumes, it seems like. A lot of costumes. A lot of costumes. Okay. Okay. Uh... Uh... What? That seems like I shouldn't have gone that much. Uh, what? I got bonus content apparently i just bought the base game i have no idea what this is well given this is a hundred hour game if it saves a little grinding or something i guess that's better there's a stack of books on this desk thank you for stating the obvious uh, is nothing I can do tonight? So, did I get, like, new costumes or something? Arsene. Equip. Ah, I can. Okay, Demonica, anything that looks particularly fancy. Butler. That sounds like it might be a Black Butler reference. Okay, let's try that. Okay, there's a lot of... Oh, okay. I'm not going to use those right now. Wait. Yeah, I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to use them right now. Okay, let's go to bed. The thing on your phone, some red eyeball icon, right? Right. We ended up in that weird place when we used the nav app, right? I don't know my phone too. I don't remember installing it. Deleted it once. I deleted it earlier, but it came back. Think it's being downloaded on its own somehow? 
It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is, but with it we can go to that weird place, right? Seems like it. Basically, it's going to depend how we use it. But first, we got to gather the evidence for the beatings. I'm counting on you, all right? Don't go ditching school on me. I just want to go to bed, man. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of the metaverse. Facebook is exhausting. Are we going back to see Igor? Indeed we are. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Yes, I suppose I have been. I mean, when you come here night after night. Glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Fated ruin. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? This was all the same day? I guess it was. A partnership. Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. Oh my god, we're literally killing evil with the power of friendship. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Confidants are people you trust who share a similar goal. You can find these people in places like school or around town. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times, earning their trust, and proving your value. Once you have formed a bond, you can check the menu to select the confidant and check the strength of your relationship. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to I can't say that I feel any particular bond to my jailer. Silence is not consent, Igor. It feels like Igor has high expectations of me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fool persona... <laughs> I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. What? Confidant Prison Master. Oh, okay, new ability. So this... What did the chariot give me? Allows you to perform negotiate with shadows after performing a hold up. Arcana Burst. Earn bonus experience when fusing personas. You can fuse personas based on their Arcana's Confidant rank. All right. Oh, every person... You have... So, every persona is attuned to one of the tarot. Oh, I can see the stats already spiraling. People you have formed a bond with have special confidant abilities. Your confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone. As this rank increases, more of their confidant abilities will be unlocked. Oh. Press tab to open and select confidant. From there, you can check their rank and abilities. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. 
He has an interesting voice, but his cadence is so dull. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Much more menacing. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. How annoying. We barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person though. We should totally get spiked on. Get spiked on? Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? What? Okay, quiet down. Okay, listen up everyone. As you all know, today is the volleyball rally. Head to the gymnasium once you've changed, got it? They're not gonna make me play a volleyball mini game, are they? Okay, it's anime. Are they claiming his spike is so powerful that it, like, broke his arm? <laughs> Man, you still got it, coach. Thanks. Let's go for one more. Yeah. She seems very sus. A simple application of smelling salt should fix that. Hey, are you alright? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. Get that star. He'll pay soon enough. Alright, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. I mean, that's like the entire point, Ryuji. Know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <clears throat> well, anyways, now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. All right. I will see you later. Oh, you're coming with me too. No, I'm not. The first one that popped out was a guy from class D. So let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so Oh, but I can't imagine why. Huh. You can quick travel. Oh. I guess that's one way to do things. Um. Oh, head to 2D. Yep, okay. You're on the newspaper, right? Give me the deets on the volleyball team. I can't. Every time I look into them, the higher-ups of our school pressure me out of it. The hell? So Kamashi is pulling strings behind the scenes? Can we stop this? I'd rather not get into trouble for talking to you guys. Fine.
what? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that cast. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? How did you get injured? What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. You're a coward. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Whoa, uh, this is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. Ryuji really does not understand the concept of consent. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap, if we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave it to you too. I guess we just gotta split up. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C. He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here too. Anyways, I'll hit you up. If well, I will consider that an improvement of our circumstances. Okay, so we need to go to 3C. I wonder, is this probably the one who's getting hit by the cannon? I'm supposed to head to 3C, aren't I? Maybe it just didn't list the classroom up there? Library. Practice building. Broadcast room. First year classroom. 1A. Uh, 2D. Okay, let's head to the court... the courtroom, I guess. Or courtyard. That is the gym. We don't need to go there. Okay, we don't need to go to the practice building. I guess we're just going to start on the ground floor and look our way around. Okay, so we came here already. That's the newspaper person. For some reason, I feel like this is supposed to be obvious based on assumed cultural knowledge for how the building would be set up. Oh, here's someone to talk to. Oh, the transfer student. What is it? I'll tell on you if you try to make do something more. You on the volleyball team? Huh? I'm not. Why are you snooping around like this? Oh, sorry about that. Please don't stab me. <laughs> See, that is when intimidation can work very well for potential social checks. Never underestimate that. Okay. This is floor two. Okay, apparently I don't have a journal. Oh yeah, what did Ryuji's confidant ability do? Uh, nothing. Oh, so it's as useless as he is. Good to know.
Okay, so that's another bathroom. I don't see any students in the library. Okay. That's the practice room. There are several students sorting CDs in the broadcast room, but it won't let me go in there, so I presumably don't have to go there. First year. One, oh, one E, one D, so. Where would, oh, first year. Probably classroom A through that, so maybe on the next level up will be the second year classrooms. That, up, oh, nope, up here is the roof. I thought I was on to something. Maybe the upperclassmen are down a level, in fact? Um... Classroom signifiers. 2A. Okay, so we are on the right floor now. 2A, 2B, 2C is right here. I don't see any students with noticeable injuries. Okay, so after all of that, Ryuji's advice was, of course, useless. I don't see... Oh! Looks like floor 1, there's a waypoint marker. Vending machine area. Couldn't find any students with noticeable injuries. That teacher Spike was incredible. Hey, is he always like that? Isn't that kind of scary? Yeah, until you get used to it. People on the volleyball team get these kinds of injuries, man. You guys have got it tough. Still time until the next match. This is such a drag. The people who don't have any matches left are just allowed to go home. Maybe I'll just skip out. You're up against Mr. Kamashita's team next, right? I think everyone would notice if you weren't there. Yeah, I know. I don't want to attract that kind of attention to myself either. But even if I do play, I know Mr. Kamashita will send some serious spikes my way. Welcome back, Quentin. How's it going? We're just wrapping up for the night. I'm trying to find one more student, and not having a great deal of luck in doing that. Oh. So, what is- ah, this is the same person I talked to. Sorry, don't put me in the hospital. Okay. Um... You're cleaning stuff for your cats because you treat them much better than yourself. Well, I do hope that you plan to uh, treat yourself well this weekend, Quentin. I saw Mr. Kamashita asking Tom, uh, Takamaki out in the hall yesterday, but she just shot him down. She's so uptight. She's probably had a bunch of boyfriends. I think the popularity went to her head. And she's looking down on us from the other girls, right? As to be expected from a foreigner. Wow. Okay. Oh, is that the... I think that's the person right there. Oh, wait, no, that's the newspaper club member. Uh... We already... Maybe it was 3C that he said, and I'm just misremembering. Oh, honeydew boba slush? That sounds delicious. Three... Okay, so 3C should be this way. I haven't had that before. Was it, like, very sweet? But I thought it was 3C. I don't need to go to the restroom.
This is no time for detours. I should let Ryuji handle the practice building. Oh. I got nothing over in this area. How about you? Not yet. Well, let's keep at it. Wonder if we can track down some third years and ask them. I don't see any on my end, so check around where you are. Okay, so we have re been reduced to keep searching, so I think that is a good time to call it. We have... We're definitely saving this time. Saving. We have saved in two different slots just to be extra safe. Hmm, I definitely... I, that sounds delicious. I definitely want to try that at some point. Uh, if I can ever find it. Okay, so let's uh, close out... Um, end game. Okay, let's, uh, yes, it did. In fact, it is now bright green. Uh, let's head back to the library. Okay, well, to, uh, yeah, it just might take a moment, a little bit for, to update on your end, but I can definitely see, uh, your little alchemist slime jumping around with now black and has a steak getting very well fed. This was a fun stream and I'm so glad that we met the goal. Um, I will of course let everyone know as soon as I hear any any definitive statements one way or the other on uh, when things process. And let's see. So this Sunday, of course, we have probably our last stream of Poe stories, uh, or at least the last one for a while because they get increasingly esoteric. And let's see. Other than that, I will be trying uh, Dragon Age off stream tomorrow to get us back to where we were. And if it does not crash, then we will continue that on Tuesday. For any lurkers that uh, are still around, uh, if you want to follow the channel to get notified when the Apothecary opens again, uh, I encourage it. Or you can keep up with me on my Twitter. And if you are 18 or older and you would like to join us... Uh, after hours at the Apothecary, you are welcome to join our Discord, where it is a very lovely small community, uh, and I think you'll find it's eminently cozy. Let's see who we can send love to on this most auspicious of night. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, you haven't gone to meet Fuku yet. Fuku is... Uh, an owl spirit VTuber. She runs uh, a cottage and she is so absolutely sweet and adorable that I think you will absolutely love her. Uh, so, as always, if people would uh, like to raid with us, I would appreciate it. I'm sure Fuku would love that and it, she is truly a treat to be around. So, if you want a very nice way to round out your evening, I definitely recommend coming along. Thank you, everyone, who joined us today. And I look forward to seeing you next time or on Sunday in particular, if you can make it for more binaural stories. Until then, I do hope you'll take care of yourselves. And thanks for coming to the Apothecary. Cheers.
shiny. That sounds awfully. <gasps> Don't be so. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome everywhere. My name is Hyas of Euphony. I am your uh, Midvala Bean Robin Alistair VTuber at your service. And today we are playing the best deck simulator. <laughs> I just got raided. Oh, you all missed. You, you miss you miss my awesome battle. <laughs> Wait, you need to vote. Not good, but you're insane. Dario, I'm so glad to see you. I hope you're doing absolutely great. I hope you have tons of fun playing Persona. I gotta get around to finishing Persona 5. <laughs> pun? No, I'll pun you, you noob. <laughs> Lots of fun, too. Thank you kindly for the follow. I sincerely hope you enjoy your stay at the cottage. Now, uh, oh, let's let you guys in on a little secret. So, did you know that this actually doesn't count your views if you don't refresh the page when you arrive? Um, well, especially if you're a lurker. If you're lurking, it won't count your views, um, if you don't refresh the page. And, uh, I would really appreciate if you could hit that refresh button. Huh? Gnome is broken, I'll be a gnome. Huh. Who's your favorite character? Um, it's 